Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, my name is Maika. Welcome to my hobby channel, Floating in Dreams, where I like to talk about all things fashion and makeup. And in today's makeup video, we are going to be talking about my top 10 bright lipsticks for the summertime. Now, I asked you in a poll what you would like to see more, this video or... Uh, an update on the new limited edition bronzer collection from Catrice and it was a 50-50 split for some days now so I figured that I could do either one and most people would be happy so that's why I'm coming to you with this lipstick video now my original plan was to come on this you know on on camera myself and show you how everything looks like what the, what these look like on but if, in case you didn't see my previous video, I threw my back out over the weekend and I'm on p massive painkillers. I have not been in that great shape, actually. I thought I was doing okay yesterday. I did a bit too much and yeah, so today I was like, I want to film something for you guys. Um, but I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to take you through my lipstick collection, find those 10 lipsticks for you, do the swatches, and then I'll just refer you to any of the links that I have to either other videos where I show off these lipsticks or my blog where I have many dedicated reviews up with, I think, most of my uh, actual lipsticks. So um, you are now looking at my lipstick collection and it looks perhaps a bit differently than what you might expect. Um, because this looks definitely differently from the way I organized it when I reorganized my makeup collection after my declutters this spring. So this is what I was using, like two of these stacked together to house all of my lipsticks. But this is too many drawers and I couldn't find anything. So one day I was actually in Primark getting an extra one of these lipstick order organizers and then I found this drawer set and I thought that would be so nifty for my lipsticks and it ended up being able to house everything. So this is now my entire lipstick collection, including, no, excluding, I should say, excluding lip liners and lip balms, because those I don't tend to reach for that often. So I've got all my glosses here, all of my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks here. This has um, all of my high-end stuff, and then this has all of my drugstore stuff and liquid lipsticks. So I've made some space here so I can hopefully just pull the drawers out. So let me tell you a little bit what these storage unit like organizers are from. Um, this organizer with my brushes is from Zoeva. You can just buy that on their website, but I think Beauty Bay sells it too. Uh, these two organizers are from Ikea. They come in a set uh, in the bathroom section. And then these organizers are all from Primark. So I've got one of these lipstick organizers here that hold most of my vel true velvet lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge. Uh, I have there's two that I that I don't own, so I've I've saved spots for those two nudes that I don't own yet, um, because I know I'm going to get those when those restock. And then this side is my bright Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. That's one true velvet and two of the insanely saturated. And then I've got three of the luxuriously lucent, and that is like one of my new favorite formulas. So I know I'm going to get some more. So I've got I've got room to grow, you could say. Uh, the, the gloss section is quite like full, so I may need to go through this and reorganize this just a little bit because I'm not loving everything I've got going on here. Um, and glosses is not something I'm going to be featuring here today because towards the end of the year, I actually want to do more of these videos where I talk about like my top 10 picks in certain lipstick categories. So today, today we're doing bright lipsticks for summer. I'm going to do this for reds. I'm going to do this for nudes. I want to do this for bright lipsticks in the winter time as well. And then I also want to do my top 10 glosses. So we're not going to talk about any glosses today. We're mainly going to be talking about what's going on here and in here. So this is the, the first drawer and this holds all of my drugstore lipsticks over here. And then like liquid lipsticks and anything that's too long to really like fit anywhere else. And then the other little drawer I have here, this is really heavy, but these are all of my high-end picks and then the two Lisa Eldridge glosses that I have and some minis that I have from Rare Beauty. Um, yeah, Rare Beauty and um, uh, Christian Dior because that didn't really fit anywhere else. Um, not everything neatly fitted into this drawer that I could close it, so that's why there's a couple lying flat here in the back. I've got all my Charlotte Tilbury, all of my Bite lipsticks, all of my MAC, some Dior and um, what's this one again? Um, 
This is uh, Lise Wache, and then we've got Urban Decay right here off to the side. So let me tell you about my first, like, favorite, favorite bright lipstick for the summertime, and this is quite a recent launch from Catrice. So my first favorite lipstick that I want to share with you is a bright from Catrice from their Demi Matte line that they launched not too long ago. Um, I think this shade launched this spring actually and I fell in love instantly. This is shade 120. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see the label right there. And it's called Pink Addiction. So this is a great bright pink lipstick from Catrice. They launched it this spring as I said. And this formula is great, the Demi Matte uh, line. It is less bright in real life, I feel, than it looks on camera. So this is what you get there. And this formula is really long lasting, I find. Uh, and it is a really lovely one that you can just throw on and it will wear for most of the day for sure. Um, I also really like, ooh, now I need to dig, um, a liquid lipstick from Milani that Sadly, they, they no longer do, so I'll do my, my uh, drugstore ones first, because that's what I'm looking at. And this is that Milani lipstick that I love so much. It is a liquid lipstick, as you can see. It's from the Amore Metallics line, in the shade Automatic Touch. And this is a very bright, like, magenta kind of purple. So there is that shade, and I think you can see a little bit where it's a bit more sheer, that it's got quite a pink base. So it is very bright in your face, and it does have a bit of a metallic finish, which I like. My final drugstore pick would be a Zara lipstick. They did relaunch these, so I'm not sure if you can still get this exact shade, uh, but I have mine in shade UM16. It came in this really nice navy packaging. I believe now it's all white. And this is just a stunning, really bright, orange-toned red. And this is another really lovely formula, really long-lasting. The only downside to this is the scent. <laughs> if you are like me and you don't like really heavily scented makeup, you're not going to like this Zara lipstick at all. Because this smells like straight-up cake batter. But... It is a lovely lipstick, but I ended up only keeping this one shade. And when you put this on, it looks like... It looks like fire on your lips. That's, that's what it reminds me of. So yeah, those are my only picks from the drugstore. However, there is something more that I need to chat to you about in this drawer, and that is this liquid lipstick from Anastasia. This is another, like, pinky purpley shade. This is in the shade Madison. And I bought this off of the recommendation of Too Much Tash. Uh, she was really loving this lipstick, and it looked great on her, so that's why I wanted to own it as well. And it's kind of like that Milani lipstick, but then perhaps a little bit more pink, and it doesn't have the metallic finish. Um, it looks very pink next to that red, actually, but it is like that pinky purpley kind of vibe, and this is a really, really great one. And I do like liquid lipsticks like this in the summertime, because I feel they are just a little bit more long-wearing, and they don't bleed as easily as something that's perhaps a bit more creamy. For a high-end pick, I can highly recommend Urban Decay, actually. They do a really good range of very bright lipsticks. I hope they still do it now that they've redone these lipsticks, because the Vice lipsticks from Urban Decay have just relaunched in a completely vegan formula, which I think is great. Uh, these were already cr cruelty-free, of course. Uh, this is in the shade Menace, and this is one of my favorite, again, like, super bright pink lipsticks. Like, if you saw me go through some of my lipsticks in my lipstick declutter, you will have noticed that I own quite a few bright lipsticks that are pinks, because in terms of like super bright lipsticks for the spring-summer season, pink is simply my favorite shade to reach for. I just, I just can't help it. So this is what Menace looks like. So there we have Menace, which is just such a nice bright fuchsia. And do you see that it's just even brighter than that Catrice one? This is very electric. But I'm not gonna lie, some of my OG favorite bright lipsticks for the summertime are by MAC, and this would be Impassioned. If you like a bright pink, but something like Menace kind of scares you, so then maybe try this one, because this is more of a coral-leaning pink. So in terms of like, it's not too fuchsia, it just has a really more like pinky, orangey kind of vibe, and I am someone who doesn't love corals, but this, I feel, works really well. It has quite a white base, but do you just see that even though it's vibrant, it's definitely nowhere near as bright as Menace. So this is actually really nice and wearable. 
And if there is going to be any time of the year where you can pull off something as bright as Max Morange, or Morange, it is right now. I mean, bright orange lipstick is perhaps a bit of a who for some people, but I love this in the summertime. This is also the time of the year when I pull out my orange toned reds and Morange. Look at how vibrant that is. Um, I don't own, I don't believe, I think I own just one other like liquid lipstick that's an orange and I decided to keep this one as my like bullet lipstick pick for that because it's not a shade I wear a lot but when I wear it I rather, I'd rather make it this very nice statement orange from MAC. But we all know how much I also love some Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and Charlotte doesn't have that many like super bright in your face shades but again if you want to go for something a bit more wearable then her shade Lost Cherry is really pretty. This is a reddish leaning shade but it has just that little bit of pink to it that makes this very flattering and wearable. It is a bit softer as well so in terms of bright lipsticks I think this is a very wearable option so this may be a good place to look into if you are looking to start off wearing bright lipsticks but you're a little bit afraid of wearing something as vibrant as what I've swatched so far. So Lost Cherry is just so so pretty on the lips. I hope you can see that it just it has this like really soft like like you just had a popsicle kind of vibe to it and I like that as well. It's not necessarily sheer but this is the kind of shade that I feel you could do to uh, use to do like an ombre lip nice and uh, quite easily or if you're in that like into that more Asian like K-beauty vibe with this very sort of diffused lip then I think this shade can be really nice for that look as well. So this is a wearable bright lipstick. But where would we be without one of my more recent favorites, which is my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. This is in the shade Velvet Morning, and this is one that I didn't buy straight away, um, because I was like, I already own so many orange toned reds in my collection, so I don't necessarily need this. But I actually bought this and decluttered other orange toned red lipsticks in my collection, so I could own this because I love the formula so much. This is long lasting, it works really well. And it's just a really nice, really vibrant orange toned red. We put these shades together, do you just see that Velvet Morning is a little bit brighter even than the Zara one, which is also an orange toned red. Um, but this is just, it's lovely. You could also go for Max Lady Danger. I've been wearing that too this month. Uh, I've been loving my bright lipsticks whenever I was wearing lipsticks this, this month actually. I was actually going a lot for my orange toned reds. Wore this quite a bit, as I did this one, as I did Max Lady Danger. Um, but I think that this is just a little bit, it just has a bit more of a punch to it and I prefer that kind of vibe. Now in terms of formula, the insanely saturated formula from Lisa Eldridge isn't exactly my favorite but the shade Rainbow Spill is such a stunning, very bright in your face shade that I just, I, I, I had to mention this. Like look at this. This is a very white based lipstick and it does have a very pinky corally kind of vibe to it. Like I said, I don't love this formula and the reason why I say that is because this does accentuate some dry lines on my on my lips. It just does. But oh, it's so yummy. It's like the more amped up version of Impassioned. That's just that's just what it reminds me of. It's a really lovely, very saturated lipstick color. However, this hasn't been available for a while. I think you can still get... No, you can't. I don't think you can still get the insanely saturated ones. I hope she brings them back. I really, really do. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. Those would be my top 10 picks when it comes to bright lipsticks for the summertime. So we've got a little bit of drugstore going on here. We've got some liquid lipsticks. Uh, and then we just have all of these really fun, bright... Um, uh, lipsticks that I love to wear this time of year. I could have done just 10 pinks, but I didn't want to do that. So we've got a little bit of everything here. We've got some corals, some oranges, some reds, some pinks, some purples. So I hope I was able to give you a bit of an overview of what I like, what is my vice when it comes to bright lipsticks for the summertime. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching today and I hope, hope you would like to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week and starting August 1st we're going to kick off Eyeshadow Palette Extravaganza here on my channel and I'll be doing one extra video a week. 
provided my back allows me to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope to be better this weekend. So we're going to start off with the new makeup releases because August 1st is going to be the first Sunday of the month. So we're going to do that first and I'll tell you a little bit about what I have in store for you when it comes to the eyeshadow palette extravaganza as well. So I hope you'd like to stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I hope everybody is having a great day. I'm going to take a nap and then I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.